Hello everyone. Um, I would like to welcome you into my world, my world of Lego. <laughs> First, I want to give a little back, a piece of background information about Legos. Um, it was first founded in 1932. The first Legos weren't like this. They were just big pieces of bricks. Um, some of them were actually already built into animals like ducks and other type of animals. <laughs> uh, they started making bricks more like this or more traditional actual bricks that you can build things with around 1958 and this past year the Lego was fourth in toy sales so it was it's a pretty big deal <laughs> uh, today I bring my one of my favorite Legos it's based off the Dark, uh, the Dark Knight Rises movie um, I picked this because I was pretty sure at least half of you guys have seen the movie. It, it was a pretty big deal when it came out. And it shows Batman on his, uh, I guess, ship called the Bat, and the villain Bane in the vehicle called the Tumbler, and Commissioner Gordon. <laughs> uh, let's see. I didn't want to bring the actual Lego because some of these pieces were very small, and I was afraid if I actually dropped it, I would lose the pieces. That's how valuable they are to me. <laughs> so I decided to bring the box, which is, I think, just as good, because the Lego box is, I feel, is essential to the Lego culture. So first, I'm going to talk about how the box is, represents the Lego culture and how I identify myself with this culture. The box itself, I feel, represents the culture because that's the first thing you see. You see how the Lego looks. When you're at the store and you have all these Legos around, this is what you see. You see what you can build. You don't really know how the Lego pieces are. You just know this is what you built. So I felt that it represents the culture very well. It also represents the patience and perseverance you need to build this. Because, I mean, you look at it and you think it might be easy, but it gets pretty complex once you start building. Um, some of the pieces don't really uh, look like you look like uh, hard to place, but sometimes things like uh, these arms are actually very uh, difficult to place, especially when you're older and you have bigger hands. You kind of need smaller hands to actually place each piece perfectly so that it actually looks like the box. Um, and uh, well, I feel like this box also represents patience because it's not easy to build these. A lot of people like objects or toys or whatever they're into are ready to be done. You, most people don't like to take the time to build something like that. They maybe maybe don't have time for it or maybe just don't want to. A lot of people don't like to take the time to build things. Um, so I feel like that's why this represents patience. First, I believe it, it's perseverance because once you start, you have to want to keep building. Some of these this one not in particular, but the more complex and bigger uh, build Lego, Legos are very difficult to build and have a lot of pieces, so it becomes very time consuming. Most people want to quit. So if you actually have the perseverance to keep going, then you will actually complete what you see on the box. Uh, now that I talked about how it represents the culture, I'm, I want to talk about how it well, I, how I identify myself with the culture. I like, I identify myself with the culture because I like building. To me, building is very, it's a passion. I've always liked building any, anything I can get my hands on or even fix, I've, I'm willing to do it. Even if I don't know, I'm willing to learn to do it. Legos for me is actually something very new. Um, as a kid, I had a few Legos but I was never really allowed to have them for 
whatever reason, as I got older, I, I it kind of reawakened in me that I liked Legos. And I bought a small set, and I decided that I wanted to keep building them. So, uh, for example, this one, I thought it was great because it also allows me to recreate moments uh, from movies like this. Sometimes you see a movie and you think, wow, that was great. I wish I was there or something. This allows me to be there without really being there. It's the same to me. And uh, this is the fourth biggest set I've built. The first being about 750 pieces. So this one was actually fairly big. And uh, just really enjoyed building it. <laughs> So, uh, in conclusion, the Lego box is essential to the culture. Uh, first, I had talked about how this box represents the culture and how I've identified myself with it. And I hope next time you guys go to the store, kids store, or Lego store, or wherever you go, and you see a box of Legos, I hope you look at it and don't just think of what you see on the box, but think of the time and effort actually placed into making these labels.